Hey guys, Halfway Dead here. I gave my patrons two options for this video's topic and they chose wheel hits. So let's get right into it. To know when the wheels are going to hit the ball, we are first going to need all the wheel stats. So what I've collected are all the values for the wheel radii and resting positions. They are all in the car stats spreadsheet now, which you can find in the video description. The wheels do not have a physical width, that's why there is no stat listed for that. The axle offsets are once again relative to the root joint. If you don't know what that means, then you should watch episode 8 of Rocket Science first. As I also stated in that video, the suspension system is dynamic, which means that the wheel positions can't always be right. So what do they mean? The resting position is the position that the wheels are in when the car is sitting on the ground at zero gravity. If we had normal gravity, then that will push on the suspension. So the resting position then will be about two unreal units closer to the ground. This seems to be almost the same for every car. The suspension strength is the same. The only differences are the wheel location and size. When you jump into the air, the suspension will stretch until the wheels are 12 unreal units below the resting position. However, when you land, those first 12 unreal units will not slow down your car at all. So the suspension is only pushing your car up when it gets compressed beyond the resting location. Most of my patrons seemed interested in the details of flip resets. So I'm going to cover this briefly even though I haven't talked about flips at all yet. If you didn't already know, it's possible to reset your flip by essentially landing on the ball like you would on the ground. The exact requirement is just to have all four wheels touching the ball at the same time at any point in time. Landing on a sphere is obviously not quite the same as it is on a flat surface. Presets with larger distances between their wheels are going to have a harder time, but it's possible with all of them. In terms of front to back axle distance, they're all pretty similar. Only the breakout sticks out with a very large distance. But the axle width is very different on a lot of cars. Octane, Hybrid, Plank and Batmobile have overall lower distances. Dominus and Breakout should therefore be the hardest to get a flip reset with. Obviously the visuals are important too. The visual wheels of the Octane for example fit their physical counterparts pretty much perfectly. The only difference is that the visual suspension doesn't actually reach far enough. In this screenshot, the right back wheel of the Octane is physically touching the ground, but you can't see it. Using the Scarab again to compare, it doesn't fit the physical wheels at all. I don't have visualizations for all the cars right now, but Trelane, the guy who already made the awesome hitbox visualizations, said that he will add the wheels when he has time. Alright, that's enough about the wheel positions and such. But why are wheel hits so weak? and cause some very weird looking situations. What may seem like a very complicated thing actually has a pretty simple explanation for every case. The wheel ball interactions in Rocket League do not conform to Newton's third law of motion. I don't expect everyone to know exactly what that says, so let me recite its meaning. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, if the car applies a force on the ball, accelerating it in one direction, then there is also a force from the ball acting on the car in the other direction, causing it to slow down. Yet I said that this doesn't apply to wheel hits, and that's all there really is to it. The ball acts a force on the wheels, but the wheels don't provide any counter force. So how exactly does this explain everything? First. Let's take a look at an example of a quote unquote regular wheel hit. The octane is traveling towards the ball at a velocity of 2000 unreal units per second. Then the wheels make contact. At first nothing happens. But as soon as the wheels get past their resting position, the suspension will start to slow down the car. Then the actual hitbox part of the car is hit, which can push the ball forwards. But at that point the car already slowed down to 1300 unreal units per second causing the hit to be much weaker than it would have been with any other side. 
This explains why the hits are weak, but that wasn't one of the weird cases. Take a look at this example, where the car is moving with a velocity of 290 unreal units per second towards the ball. The suspension is strong enough to stop the car before the hitbox can touch the ball. So the ball stays completely still. Since only the relative speed to the ball matters, you can actually see this happen in a lot of real game scenarios. The ball trail will change color and you will be credited for goals, but the ball doesn't change its direction. It can also happen during air dribbles with your front wheels. At that point you're screwed, because the ball will push you down like an immovable object. These were a bunch of Octane examples. Obviously it happens too with other presets, but the impact isn't quite as big with all of them, because it depends on the distance that the suspension has to be pushed until the ball makes contact with the hitbox. The air dribble issue for example is worst on Octane. All the other presets are longer and as a result have the front axle further away from the front of the hitbox. Hybrid is in other regards almost identical. The Batmobile and Plank presets have the weakest wheel hits because of the massive back wheels which are really close together. But if you only touch the front wheels then you can still generate more power than Hybrid or Octane. Dominus still gets the most powerful hits because of its axis separation and the small wheels closely followed by the breakout. Alright, I would like to take this moment to thank my patrons for making this project possible. If you want to back me too, the link is in the video description and as a card on screen. There might be another small thing coming this year, but it's not sure yet. To stay up to date, you can follow me on Twitter or join my Discord. And last but not least, I wish you all a Merry Christmas.